Jesus thanks his Father in heaven have you recently returned from holiday or a short work break? When you returned, did you have a prepared mental list of the great holiday moments you wanted to share with your friends? Assuming the holiday went well, it's likely you did. Jesus sent his disciples out to the towns and villages to preach his gospel. When they returned, they were overjoyed and eager to share everything that had happened. Lord, they said, even the demons submitted to us in your name. This was a very special moment for Jesus. He had chosen his disciples carefully and then sent them in pairs to do his work. Crowds gathered and listened to them. Many believed, and those with illnesses and diseases were healed. Jesus had experienced numerous past disappointments but, not on this occasion. Now was a time for rejoicing. The disciples' mission had been a huge success and it expanded Jesus' possibility for the salvation of many more souls. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and gave thanks to His Father saying, I praise You, Father, Lord of heaven and earth because You have hidden these things from the wise and intelligent, and revealed them to little children. Jesus then invited the world to come to Him saying, Come to Me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Matthew 11:25-27, Luke 10:21-22. Often we selfishly wait until we are overladen with sin and guilt before we respond to Jesus' call. Make today a day of rest for your soul. Share with Jesus yesterday's joys and sorrows. Lord Jesus, thank you for the endless gifts and graces that you have granted to me. Transform me to become what you will. Amen. Most Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, comfort me, console me. I promise to submit myself to all you desire of me, and permit all you wish to happen to me. Give me your help, tell me what to do. Most Holy Spirit, bring peace to my world. Amen.